Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Obviously in quite a sell-off at the moment, still all covered by the current scenario. Ideally, the price does not break below 50,725, however, uh, because that would question or make the overall, overall bullish thesis on this chart questionable. But at the moment, anyway, we have no confirmed low in place, regardless of the larger degree time frame and assumption. So what I'm going to do, we'll take a look at the shorter time frame count. And first of all, we see that the price is currently trending around 57K. And we are sort of in that region where I'd like to see a low form, but looking at the microstructures reveals that we haven't seen the low yet, or at least it is not yet, the wave count is not yet full. So we might get another four five pattern uh, with a wave five to the downside. Mm. I'm not even sure if the third is finished yet. It's it's in that area where the third wave should finish, but we haven't clearly started wave four yet. So we're going to zoom in in a minute. Bigger picture here, that's the correction that started around the 13th, 14th of March. Wave W to the downside, an X wave rally, and then this is the Y wave to the downside. Um, I did get the question earlier today how I did define those this box here, yeah, between 60,150 and 53,480. The price already reacted to it in April for the first time. And this was already where I said the first time the low could be in now. We need additional evidence, of course, but the low could be in. Before that, not really. It wasn't clear. Here we, for the first time, reached that 100% extension target, but the low wasn't in and we needed more time to correct. So we're going deeper into that target area. What kind of target area is that? Well, it's calculated based on the length of the first leg of that correction, which I have labeled wave W. And you compare that with the um, with the decline here. Yeah? So basically down to the, um, well, it's the Y wave, which is an ABC structure in my interpretation. All right. So then it's the area between the 100% extension, basically that wave W and Y have the same length, down to the 1.618 extension, where the wave Y is 1.618 as long as the wave W. I hope that makes sense. Um, and this is sort of the ideal target area, okay? Ideally, the correction finishes in here, in this area. So someone asked me, okay, could it be something more bearish? Couldn't it be a wave one to the downside? Couldn't this be a wave two to the upside? Couldn't this be like a, I don't know, couldn't, couldn't we be in the third wave down now? So like one, two, three, and then we get a four and five. And then this would be, I don't know, another one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, possibly, a possible. Okay, anything is possible, but is it probable? Well, I don't, I cannot confirm a top in place until we break support and that's 50,725. That is when I would start to track um, maybe a more substantial top was in place. And the, um, but it, you know, it, it would depend on further stuff, further. I mean, at the moment, it doesn't make a difference anyway. Okay, because at the moment we are in a move to the downside. So we are currently moving down okay we have no confirmation of a low in place there's no impulse i did send it send say it in previous updates we need a break above resistance to indicate that a low is in place until then the focus has to be on the downside in this correction and we use the parameters of the support or the support parameters to identify where a bounce could occur now if no bounce occurs then you know we have to focus on the downside okay um Looking at the bigger picture, I would expect, however, a reaction in this area, okay? Obviously, only as long as support holds. So that's, you always have to change your view, but the, the move down looks corrective, okay? We have a lot of overlapping price action. Even this initial move down doesn't look like an impulse. So the, saying this could be wave one of an impulse to the downside, see, anything is possible, but it would be, um, it doesn't, it's not for me the most probable scenario. And I'm already tracking the bearish count by tracking support. So if that breaks, this will put us on high alert for a much greater, let's say, crash or pullback. Now, then obviously we have a significant move down into support. 
This is now like 25%, no, 23% from the all-time high. You need to remember that even in a bull market, like 30, even 40% pullbacks or corrections can be, can happen. They can happen even in a bull market, especially in crypto, or maybe only in crypto, okay? In traditional markets, you would call that a bear market. Um, so that's something to mention. And then looking at the microstructure where we say, okay, we are likely in this C wave to the downside. Um, we have an A wave here, we have a B wave there, and then this is the C wave to the downside. We can also, based on that count, calculate some targets, wave A down, wave B to the upside, and then we've now reached a 100% extension at 57K. That's another level to watch. And then 54.9K is the next support based on that way of measurement. But all of them are, all these target projections point towards inside the support area. So therefore, yeah, I don't have that clear setup that would lead to a break of support. It can of course happen, um, but I'm not watching for that at the moment, okay? So looking at the microstructure then, we had, as you know, this wave one down, wave two up, the third wave to the downside, which isn't clearly finished yet. So it might need a few more squiggles to the downside, possibly targeting 55,960 or even 55,400. And the resistance area is unchanged from the last video because we haven't made a new low. 58.4 to 60.5K. Uh, obviously today we've got the FOMC decision, um, interest rates and uh, press conference. So pay attention to that today. There'll be, there'll be, there, there's going to be plenty of volatility. It's already, there's a lot of emotions in the market stock market as well at the moment yeah crazy crazy times a lot happening at the moment a lot happening at the moment in different markets it's far away from boring at the moment and then we could get another four or five patterns so a little lower possibly in three okay um i already thought earlier today maybe the four has started but obviously as long as we stay below resistance the focus is on the downside a break above resistance, which is 60,580, would be an early indication that a low is in place. But we don't, we, we, people will ask me if we break resistance, is the low in? We need a one two setup. Okay, that would be confirmation. A break of resistance is only, always only the first indication. To confirm it, we need a one two setup to the upside. So at the moment, my view would be possibly we might finish around 55K, 56K. Yeah. This has come down a bit due to the extension of the third, um, but sort of in that region, I'd like to see a low, but still doesn't look finished yet. That's my update about Bitcoin. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.